stay black in America. Don't leave, don't go anywhere. Greatest country in the world for a black man or a black woman. Today will be my sermon number 108 in a row. I'm going to title it, um, Idle Minds are the Devil's Workshop. Idle Minds. The Bible says, Blessed are those who keep their minds on God all the time, on Jesus all the time. Pray without ceasing. Because you find all kinds of situations in life where people fall by the wayside. You can find a situation where a woman could have a husband that is uh, uh, very wealthy, very busy, super busy. She tends to get bored. Her boredom leads to infidelity. It leads to something wrong. It leads to a horrible situation. And she might always hope she had a man that worked hard and made a lot of money and, and go along with that. It takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of time separated from your wife. But it all boils down to a person's individual decision. How strong are they? Have you, can you walk your course diligently? Can't be faithful to your husband, faithful to God. Because the devil's always going to try to bother you, whatever state you're in. If your state is horrible, your state is good, he's always trying to way, find a way to make your situation worse. He's always against the brother and against the sister. Always against you. So, so that woman who suffers boredom uh, by being alone a little bit, she's not... She's not in hunger. She's not destitute. She has shelter. She has plenty of food to eat. She has a wonderful life as far as that's concerned. But loneliness seems to overtake her. And then she she becomes uh, one, one in human companionship. You know, her husband's not giving her enough. So she cheats. Infidelity. Take a woman who, uh, you know, doesn't have a husband. She longs to have one, longs to have a man who loves her and takes care of her. She doesn't have to work and stuff. And she dreams about that. And then some, when they get it, you see how they act. So it's always a, it's always a catch like that. It's always how we lead our life. Now, you take a man the same way. He's married. He's been married for a long time now. Should he get bored with his wife? Should he go out and cheat with someone younger because he feels like he deserves it or he feels like, uh, you know, he just, he just should for whatever reason or not. You know, the Bible speaks about it like this. Uh, Proverbs 5th uh, chapter. Uh, 18 to 23rd verse. I'm not going to say it per bayon, but the gist of it is like this. It says, Rejoice in the wife of your youth. Of your youth, She is a loving deer and a graceful dove. Let her breast satisfy you always. You may you always be exhilarated and excited about her. It's, it's giving you, the Bible always gives you the blueprint to success. Right? So you're in a long relationship. You've been with your wife for a long time. Don't look upon her and look upon someone else and think that, okay, the grass is green on the other side of the road. Oh, that woman looks attractive. My wife is getting a little older. You look at your wife as what she is, a dedicated companion, a dedicated wife. I love you and been with you all your days. All your support and all your efforts should go to her, not to a, another woman. Another female, because she's a female. Of course, she looks attractive in the eyes. Because beauty is deceitful, charm is deceitful, and beauty is vain. So, idle mind's always the workshop of, of the devil. You know, so you have to stay focused. Keep your mind on God at all times. Always trusting in your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Always reading this precious Bible. Praying when you have spare time, pray to God. Because you pray to God all the time. You can be at work and pray morning, lunch, and, and when you leave. You can be at night and pray when you're in bed. Pray without ceasing because the devil is alive and well and seeks who he can devour. And the Bible clearly tells us, pray that you're led not into temptation and that you're delivered from evil. You got to pray all the time without ceasing and never have your mind idle. Always have your mind focused. You mind think you're idle, you think you, you know, you're bored, you think about something too, put your mind on something constructive. Put your mind on the word of God. Put your mind on being obedient to God. Put your mind on the sacrifice that God, Son, Jesus Christ did when he died for our sins. But let me tell you, some people are going to tell you, oh, um, directions to Walmart. Uh, go down Fort Tartan, make a right on Riggs, go underneath the bridge, walk about a half a mile to your left-hand side. Well, I'm going to do better than that. I'm going to tell you that if you want to go to heaven, Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. Repent of your sins. By doing so, you're going to heaven by grace and not by works. 
I'm not going to send you on a path to read a book or have a revelation on your own. I'm going to tell you exactly how to get into the kingdom of heaven. I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm not going to play any games with you. I'm not going to play any mental games with you. The only way to get into heaven is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior and repent of your sins. Or as John 3.16 says, whoever believes on the Lord God has everlasting, have everlasting life. That means you believe. You believe on the virgin birth. You believe Christ died for the sins of the world. And he died for the sins of the world means he died for our sins. That's the way you get to heaven. You know, these other things in life we deal with. Take a man who's been married a long time and his wife is deceased. Well, she has ran a good race. She has kept the faith. Her soul is in heaven, eternal with God the Father and God the Son. You still live in this earthly dwelling. You still can succumb to these earthly urges and problems. But the best thing a man could be is be what he was when his wife is, is living. Be a faithful man to the word of God. Pray always without ceasing. Do the things that he's always done because his time cometh too. And maybe he has a few more years of temptation where he might think maybe I should mingle, maybe I should date someone else, maybe I should do this. All those things are human emotions but you bring about dysfunction sometimes because you've been out of that game for a long time and who knows who you're going to meet up with. 50 50 chance that person loves God like you and doesn't. You don't want to be led astray or led down a dumb road in your exceeding age of life. So I think it's best to be prayerful Best to endure your, your loneliness and trust in God and, and whatever sense of boredom you have. Turn around to constructive prayer. Who can you help? Who can you be a, a, um, who can you be a helping hand to? Who can you give knowledge to about God? Who can you help in this time? Because you're going through your walk now. Your wife precedes you to the grave or your wife passed before you. She's ran a race. She's done what she's supposed to do now. You're still in the race. Run your race faithfully. Run, run your race trusting in God. And then when your time comes, you're in glory with God the Father and God the Son. We all become like the angels. So your wife will be there. She's not your wife in, in, in heaven no more, but she's an angel. You still are eternally together forever and ever. Never departed. She kept her race. She ran it to the end. You keep your race. You run it to the end. Don't be idle in mind. Don't think that anything has changed. You always have to focus on God. Focus on Jesus Christ. Focus on what's right. Because forever in heaven we'll live forever. And when trust is waiting for, for us there, we can't conceive with our minds, right? So stay black in America. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. This has been my sermon number 108 in a row. Hope it's blessed some, many, one, hundreds, thousands. But that's my, that's my wish. I always lead you to Christ. And I'll say again in my closing, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. Repent of your sins. We gain heaven by grace and not by works. God sent his son to die for the sins of the world. He accomplished that. He rose again. And now us as human beings, all of us, God's arms open wide open to us. Heaven. So stay black in America. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel.